I found of high quality entertainment. Before I talk about this 1973 underrated rock album classic, I just wanted to thank the few of you that listened to my album yesterday and, and left some very, very nice positive reviews. Of course, some of you couldn't stand it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think some of you enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. Now, I received a comment yesterday on that video, but it wasn't related to the video. He probably didn't like the album. But he said that thanks to me doing one of these underrated album videos, he and a friend of his became a fan of Canned Heat. And that's, that's what I love doing uh, these videos, the main reason. It's, as long as I get one or two people to become fans of a particular album or, or group, it's cool. Not everybody's going to check it out, but some do and some become fans. Anyway, I've talked about this band once before in the underrated classic rock series. And there's another album of theirs that even I, for years and years and years, I enjoyed it, but I just didn't listen to it because I'm going to show it to you. Then, then we'll talk. Blue Oyster Cult, Tyranny and Mutation, On Your Feet or On Your Knees. So there it is. Now the, the first record of theirs I bought in, in 1974 was Secret Treaties. And on first play, I didn't, I liked it I guess, but didn't love it. And then on repeated plays, I became a huge fan of, of that album. And then I bought, I think the next one I bought was uh, their debut album, Blue Easter Cult, which I didn't like. I thought it was, it was totally different than Secret Treaties and kind of weird and didn't like it too much. But of course, after a few plays, I loved it. And then I bought this one, and I loved this one right away. But the thing is, I loved it so much that I, I kind of got tired of it fairly quickly. And through the years, I haven't really played it that much. But recently I've been playing it a few times. And it's just so damn good. If you love great guitar work, you got to listen to this whole album. Buck Harma, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his last name. Buck, I think it is Harma or Daharma or whatever. Uh, he is absolutely, I feel, probably the most underrated rock guitarist of them all. And he's in my top. He might even be number one or number two or number three. He's right up there with, uh, with of course, Frank Zappa for me and Steve Howe. It took me a minute. I'm all excited because Molly's going to be here. I'm going to go pick her up at the train station in a few hours. So be, be videos this weekend with her. But yeah, I love the whole album and uh, the songs. Side one, the red and the black. Just killer. Really fast paced. Completely different from their debut album, the this, this second album. And this track is actually a uh, speeded up version of a track from the debut album. And then Odeed on Life Itself. And the riff in it is very similar to uh, the Hollies' Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress. I don't know if it's on purpose or by accident, but it's still cool. It's, it's really cool. Hot Rails to Hell. Awesome song. And then, Seven Screaming Diz Busters. It's a, a longer track and some amazing, not just the guitar work, but I mean the whole band is just amazing. 
Then you flip it over, and it's the the second side is a bit more poppy. You know, it's still it's still rock rock and roll, but it's more poppy. It's very windy out. Old lady just fell down. Get back up. You're okay. The little blood won't hurt you. But side two with uh, baby ice dog wings wetted down. Teen Archer and Mistress of the Salmon Salt. Quickline Girl. Really catchy songs. I think most of you, if you haven't heard this album and you love just classic rock music, I think you'll be impressed with this. And like I said, there is a ton of great riffs. I mean, there's like multiple great guitar riffs in some of the songs, like not just one great riff, a few of them. And uh, some great solos and like I said, great drumming, bass work, vocals are, are really good. And I highly recommend you check out this album. I'll have a link uh, pinned in the description or, or maybe right here. And if you do, Come back after a while and leave a comment and just say, I checked out the album and I love it. I love it a lot. So, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.